Hello everyone. Um, I know we don't know exactly what's going on right now. Um, still a lot of uncertainty, um, but I thought maybe it would be fun to kind of dress up for prom. Um, so uh, this is not what I wore to my prom. Um, uh, ruffled um, tuxedo shirts uh, are a lot older than I am. Uh, uh, senior year of high school for me was when Titanic came out. Uh, so. Um, we were all basically wearing what uh, Leonardo DiCaprio wore, um, so the black tuxedo coat with the tails in the back. Um, that's basically what I was, so there we go. Um, not this, although I think this is kind of fun, why not? Uh, so we're going to take a look at um, rationalizing denominators today. Uh, so here we go. All right, so we're rationalizing fractions, and what that means is we're going to be basically simplifying fractions to get rid of radicals in the denominator. We're never going to leave radicals in the denominator of our final answer. Um, what we're going to do to help us with that, um, just like what we did with our last lesson, um, when we wanted to get rid of an i that was in the denominator, we had to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So just like this, we're going to now multiply the top and bottom um, by the uh, conjugate of the denominator to get rid of uh, any radicals that are in the denominator. All right, uh, so uh, a couple questions here. Uh, there's six. Uh, if it looks like it's taking too long, we might kind of get rid of one of them, but here we go. All right, before we try to get rid of that radical that's in the denominator, um, we can make our life a little bit easier if we maybe just kind of simplify the number parts that are outside front. Um, outside in the front first. Uh, so we have 25 and 10, they're both divisible by 5. Uh, so 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 5 radical 15 in the numerator. And then 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 2 radical 2 in the denominator. Um, you could think about this as 0 plus 2 radical 2. So then the conjugate of that would be um, 0 minus 2 radical 2 0 minus 2 radical 2, but 0 minus is going to be just negative 2 radical 2. All right, so uh, then I'm just going to do that multiplication. Uh, multiply the numbers that are outside together. Um, so that's negative 10. Multiply the numbers that are inside together. Becomes a 30. Uh, multiply down low the numbers that are outside together and multiply the numbers that are inside together. All right, and negative 10, square root of 30, negative four, we know the square root of four is two. Negative 10, square root of 30 over negative eight. Uh, the negatives will cancel out. And then let's see, 10 and eight are both even, so they're both divisible by two. Four. Uh, and then 30. Uh, 30 does not have any perfect square factors inside of it, so it's going to stay just like that. All right, with our next one, um, anytime you have a radical uh, and you have a fraction inside an entire radical, the radical can go to the numerator and can go to the denominator. All right. And uh, again, we're not allowed to have that radical down low. Um, you could think about this as zero plus square root of x. So then its conjugate would be zero minus square root of x. Zero minus square root of x, but zero minus is just negative square root of x. All right, so the zeros go away. If you wanna say, hey, can the negative over the negative cancel in this case? Sure, you can do that. I'm just gonna worry about doing that a little bit later. Uh, so then we're just going to do our multiplication. Uh, so we'll have negative uh, square root of 98x, and then down low, negative square root of x squared. Um, let's see here then, yep, the negatives are going to cancel out. Um, remember, I'll do the bottom first. Uh, the square root uh, of a square, um, those cancel each other out, so we're left with just an x inside. Um, 98. 98 does have a perfect square factor inside of it. Um, 98 is 2 times 49. All right, 2 times 49, and then we also still have that x inside. Um, the 49 is the perfect square, so I like to put it in its own separate one. And then we're going to get 7 
square root of 2x over x. All right. All right, uh, radical on the top, radical on the bottom. Um, we need to get rid of the radical that's down low, so we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. Um, conjugate of this denominator, keep the number parts the same, change the symbol between, and make sure you multiply that to the top and bottom. All right, and then we're going to foil all across the top and foil across the bottom. Foiling across the top first, 2 times the 2 times the square root of 5. Um, outer, radical 5 times uh, negative radical 2. It's going to become radical 10, negative minus radical 10. Inner, 1 times 2, positive 2. Uh, last, 1 times negative radical 2. All right, and then in our denominator, again, foil first becomes a 4. Outer becomes a negative 2 radical 2. Inner becomes a plus 2 radical 2. And last, becomes a minus square root of 4. So let's see here, what can we do? Um, we have a whole lot of crazy stuff in the numerator. Nothing we can simplify. Um, down low, we have a 4. Uh, these two parts right here zero each other out, and then square root of 4 becomes 2, all right, uh, so what, 2 square root of 5 minus square root of 10 plus 2 minus square root of 2 all over 2, um, that is all we could do with this, um, some people maybe would like, maybe would like to put the, um, the rational number first and then put the irrationals, the numbers that have the radicals at the end, um, but that doesn't matter. All right, this works as an answer. All right, this time um, variables, uh, and this time just a square root and a radical in the denominator. Um, but again, we're still going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. Um, 2 square root of x minus 5, keep the number parts the same switch to the opposite symbol in between for the conjugate. And then on the numerator, all we have to do is distribute. Uh, when we distribute the 5x, we get 10x square root of x plus 25x. And then down low, uh, we FOIL again. Uh, when we multiply these parts together, we multiply the numbers outside together. 4, and then we multiply the numbers that are inside the square root. So 4, square root of x squared. Outer, 10, square root of x. Inner, minus 10, square root of x. And last, minus 25. Um, nothing we can do right now in the numerator. Um, how about this time, let's put everything that doesn't have a radical in the front. Down low, these two parts right here, zero out. Um, square root of x squared is just an x, so 4x, and then minus 25. Um, and uh, we can't combine here. Um, and let's see here, uh, there's no factoring, no simplifying that we could do from here. So this is our answer. All right, so if you haven't noticed, we were trying to build every problem that's a little bit more with it. Uh, the last one had a binomial, two pieces in the denominator, two terms in the denominator, but the numerator only had one term. Uh, this time we have a binomial in the denominator and a binomial in the numerator. Uh, so a little bit more. Uh, again, uh, we're gonna multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. Keep the number pieces the same. Switch to the opposite symbol in between, so going to become a plus, all right, and then we're going to FOIL uh, for the numerator and for the denominator. So for the numerator, first becomes a 6, outer becomes a plus 2 square root of x, inner plus 3 square root of x, and then last becomes square root of x squared. And then in our denominator, first 
9, outer, plus 3 square root of x, inner, minus 3 square root of x, and last, minus square root of x squared. Let's see, uh, numerator, we still have that 6, 2 square root of x and 3 square root of x. Those are the same radicals. Those are like radicals, so we can combine like radicals. You have 2 square root of x's and someone gives you 3 more square root of x's, so you have 5 square root of x's. And then over here, uh, we have the square root of x squared. Uh, those cancel each other out. We're left with then just an x. Um, the square and the square root cancel out. We're left with just the x. Down low, 9. Here, those two parts zero each other out. And then again here, the square and the square root cancel each other out, leaving us with just the x. And that is everything we can do, as simplified as possible. No more radicals in the denominator. All right, one more question. All right, so again, a little bit more with this one. Still a binomial in the denominator and a binomial in the numerator, but now each term in the binomials has a radical, and each uh, say each radical is also another variable. So again, a little bit more, um, but that's fine. We've built our way along through here. We can handle this challenge. Uh, so again, we're going to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So we'll keep the pieces the same, but switch to the opposite symbol between. And then we'll multiply. And we'll do foiling to help us with that multiplication. So first becomes 2 times square root of y squared. Outer becomes 2 square root of xy. Inner um, becomes minus square root of xy. And last uh, becomes minus square root of x squared. And then let's go down low. Uh, first becomes square root of y squared. Outer plus square root of xy. Inner minus square root of xy. And last minus square root of x squared. Um, let's see here. Uh, numerator. Uh, we have this 2 square root of y squared. Um, the square and the square root cancel out. We're left with just a y, so 2y. Um, you have 2 square root of xy's, and then someone takes 1 of those square root of xy's away. So you are left with 1 square root of xy. And then minus square root of x squared um, just becomes uh, an, a minus x. The square root and the square cancel each other out. Down low, the positive and negative cancel each other out right there. Uh, square root of y squared becomes just a y. And then the square root of x squared becomes just an x. And if you want, you can get rid of that one. All right, or it can stay there. All right, but uh, that is all we can do with that one as well. All right, so seniors, uh, there is so much that we don't know right now still, and uh, there's a lot of things that we cannot control right now, um, but there are some things that we can control. Um, and I can tell you that my prom, uh, I, 22 years ago, my prom was 22 years ago, but, and at this point, um, memories from 22 years ago, um, they don't register very high for me. Um, that's no offense to my, uh, my high school, no offense to my friends from back then. Um, I do still have some that I keep in touch with, all right? Um, but um, the fact that this whole year is so different, um, something being so different, I think actually can make it that much more memorable for you. Um, I don't know about you, but I've had a great year to this point. Um, the whole first three quarters, I very much enjoyed my time with you. Uh, overall, like I very much loved my job this year, and you're a big reason because of that. And then again, um, this last quarter has been so different. It's going to make it that I will probably never forget this even 22 years from now. All right, and what also will make it that much more memorable is what we do with it. So that we can control, all right? so. All of you, uh, I imagine there's so many of you that already have um, your, your dress, your outfit already picked out, planned out um, for prom. All right, uh, 
hopefully I've shown that you can get dressed up whenever you want to. Um, and uh, I've had a blast doing it, all right? So um, there is no reason why you can't um, do your hair, paint your nails, get your makeup done, uh, get dressed up, and uh, virtually get together with all of your friends um, and make your own memories, all right? Um, I, I promise you'll have a good time. Um, it'll make you smile, um, and it'll make everyone else smile. Um, and we need that right now. So, um, it's your year, all right? Um, let's not just dwell on what's not going the way that we planned, um, and uh, let's, um, let's go for it. Let's have some fun, all right? Uh, so, uh, I love all of you, um, and um, be safe, have fun, um, and make the most of it.